In this video, we're going to show you how to properly inject Trimix medication. Inside of the brown bottle, you'll find the antidote to the medication, which is called phenylephrine. Inside the clear bottle, you'll find the Trimix medication. To get started, you'll want to remove the syringe from the packaging. There's a protective cap over the needle on the syringe, and there's also a protective cap on the back of the syringe. You'll use the alcohol prep pad to clean the top of the vial as well as the injection site. On the top of the Trimix vial, there's a protective seal. You'll want to remove the protective seal and expose the rubber membrane. Open the alcohol prep pad and use it to clean the rubber membrane on the top of the Trimix vial. Remove the cap on the back of the syringe, exposing the plunger. Then, remove the front cap and expose the needle. Before you place the syringe inside the vial, you'll want to draw back the same amount of units you've been prescribed to inject. In this case, we're going to draw up 20 units into the syringe. Insert the syringe into the vial through the rubber membrane. You'll want to press down on the plunger and push the air into the vial. You'll then want to slowly draw back the required amount of units into the syringe. Pull the syringe straight out of the vial. Set the vial down and then recap the front of the syringe. The area of the penis that you're injecting the medication into is called the corpus cavernosum. The corpus cavernosum runs on either side of the penis. You'll want to make sure to inject at the 10 o'clock or 2 o'clock position. Do not inject on the same side each time you use the medication. You'll want to make sure that you're alternating sides between usage. This diagram shows where the corpus cavernosum is located inside the penis. Before you apply the medication, you'll want to clean the area of injection with the alcohol prep pad. As you go to apply the medication, make sure that you don't pull on the penis or twist the penis in any way because this may affect the injection site. Now you're ready to apply the medication. You'll want to remove the cap, and in one swift motion, you'll apply the medication. Make sure that you avoid any veins. Pull the syringe straight out of the penis. After injecting, you'll want to apply pressure to the injection site. You'll then want to massage the area of entry for about one minute and allow the medication to spread evenly throughout the entire penis. To give you an idea of the amount of pressure you'll want to apply to the plunger when you go to administer the medication, try drawing up water into one of the syringes. You'll place your thumb on the back of the plunger and lightly press on the back of the plunger. This is the same amount of pressure you'll want to apply to the plunger when you go to inject the Trimix medication. If you find that you have to apply more pressure than this, then you may not be in the corpus cavernosum, which means the medication will not be effective. If you experience an erection lasting longer than two hours, you'll want to apply the antidote to the medication, which is called phenylephrine. You'll apply the phenylephrine the same way you apply the Trimix medication. First, draw up air into the syringe, and then insert the syringe into the vial of phenylephrine. Slowly draw back 50 units of phenylephrine into the syringe. Pull the syringe straight out of the vial and then recap the front of the syringe. You'll want to inject one inch above the base of the penis at the 10 o'clock or two o'clock position. You want to make sure that you avoid any veins. And again, you'll want to massage the area of entry for about one minute, right after you administer the medication. 
Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, email us directly at trimix at olympiapharmacy.com.